So a really good example of how this aircraft will make a difference is let's say you had a meeting in London. You were in New York, you had a meeting in London. You could take off in the morning about 7 a.m. in New York, spend half a day in London, be home around 8 o'clock in the evening. Arian says that it's on track to fly the first AS-2 by 2023, and it plans to build five flight test vehicles en route to certification in 2025. We are very close to making a supersonic renaissance a reality, and the reason that we say that is, is probably threefold. A, 15 years of research on advanced aerodynamics. Uh, within the last year, we concluded a deal with GE Aviation, which is supplying an engine for the AS-2. This is the first civil supersonic engine that's been developed in 50 years. And the third element of this is a, a relationship now with Lockheed Martin, all of their tremendous engineering and production capability. We're working on this with the engineers at Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, the same people are working with NASA on quiet supersonic flight. One problem that plagued the feasibility of Concorde was its inability to fly at supersonic speeds over land because of the sonic boom. There's no easy solution today for the sonic boom. NASA is working on technologies that may eventually prove useful in mitigating the sonic boom. Uh, the advantage of the AS-2 is that it can fly at speeds up to about Mach 1.2, uh, producing a weak sonic shock wave, a sonic boom, that uh, as it descends into the warmer layers of the atmosphere will either refract off those warmer layers or just dissipate before it reaches the ground. So we'll need the FAA's approval to do this. We'll need to demonstrate it. Our business case is not predicated on getting that approval. We can fly efficiently at 0.95 Mach, which is just a hair under the speed of sound and faster than anything today and still save time coast to coast U.S. We asked why the company has chosen to develop a business jet rather than an airliner. What we want to achieve is a renaissance of supersonic flight that is sustainable, say, versus the era of the Concorde. The Concorde, only about 14 ever entered service. If we're going to have a sustainable era of supersonic flight where there's continued development for larger, faster aircraft, airline aircraft, we have to start somewhere. We have to start with a, an aircraft that can be built for some reasonable amount of money and find a, a wide enough market. We think that's business aviation.